Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, we're going to spend a little time talking about how Wi Fi works on Express LRS. After diving into Express LRS, I can tell you one of the questions I see quite a bit on Discord and on the channel relate to Wi-Fi and how Wi-Fi works with Express LRS. So in today's video, we're just going to spend some time talking about exactly how Wi-Fi works and what the different modes of operation are. And I'm going to give you a couple of tools to use in case you're having problems. There are two modes of operation for Express LRS when it comes to Wi-Fi. The first mode is hotspot mode. And what happens in hotspot mode is the Express LRS device is acting like a router. It's behaving a little bit like a router. And what happens on your computer is you connect directly to the device. You're not connecting to your home Wi-Fi. I could do this out in the field, right? If I'm out at the field, I could have this receiver turn on hotspot mode and I could connect to it with my laptop with no router, no home Wi-Fi, none of that stuff. You connect directly to the receiver. That's called hotspot mode. The other mode of operation is where you give the receiver via configuration access to your home networks. You give it your SSID and you give it your home network password. And when it boots up, if it has that information, it will connect to your home network. Okay. So there are two modes. The first mode is hotspot mode. And the second one is SSID mode or local network mode. The first mode we're going to talk about is hotspot mode. When you plug in an express LRS receiver for the very first time and wait 60 seconds, you'll see this led light start to blink rapidly. And what that's doing, the receiver is putting itself into hotspot mode, which will allow your computer to connect to it directly. Now, before we start connecting to things, I want to encourage you to turn on express LRS configurator and select the release version that you want, the device category, and the device itself. And the reason we want to do that is because down here at the bottom in the actions section, there's a very handy little section that allows us to see what's going on with regard to Wi-Fi and our receiver or transmitter. Okay, so once Express LRS Configurator is open, scroll down to the bottom, put this action section on the screen so you can see this little text that says default 10.0.0.1. That's going to be important in just, just a minute. The next thing we'll do is bring up our software on the computer that allows us to connect to a Wi-Fi network. I'm not going to cover all the variations on this video. I'll trust that in this day and age, you know how to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And I've got show available network selected, and you can see I've got Express LRS RX showing as a Wi-Fi connection point. So I'm going to click connect. And when I do, I'm just going to minimize this and we'll pay attention to this little box right here. And what will happen is we're going to get a notification once the computer is connected to the Express LRS receiver that it is connected and it sees the receiver. See this little pop up right here? We are now connected from our computer directly to the receiver. No home Wi-Fi, no home router, none of that's involved. We have a direct connection between the PC and the Express LRS receiver directly. Once the Express LRS configurator sees the receiver, you'll be presented with two options to connect. One is the IP address, another one is a name. The IP address is basically foolproof. If you have that, just click on it and you should get into the receiver just about every time. You'll see an address up here on the bar called 10001. That's the IP address of the receiver. You can also click on the name. This ELRS underscore RX local is what's called a multicast DNS name. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you click on it and doesn't work, one thing you can try is the command called ipconfig slash flush DNS. Sometimes that'll help resolve it. Notice how it popped up in the background immediately when I pressed enter. I'm not going to go into all the technical reasons as to why. It has to do with caching names. Okay, the important thing to understand using 10.0.0.1 is that we are not connected to our home network. Our home network has nothing to do with the communications going on right now between my computer and receiver. I am connected from my computer directly to the receiver. That's hotspot mode. Now let's have it connect to our home network. And I'm going to do that by clicking on Wi-Fi and I'm going to set my home network parameters in these fields below. So I'm going to type APX. That's my home Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to put in my SSID key down here on the second line. And then once I hit confirm, it's going to say, Hey, we're going to go ahead and reboot now and you can connect via ELRS RX local. So I'm going to close this browser out and we're going to go back to configurator. And this is why I say this is important. Pay attention to this because this box will show you an IP address after we've made the connection. And also that IP config flush DNS command that I gave you earlier might come in real handy because right now the computer thinks ELRS local is connected to 10.0.0.1. Okay. So see the pop-up. 
the configurator detected a new receiver and it's using an IP address 192.168.1.106. Notice how much different that is than the other address. This IP address is actually issued from my home network DHCP server. So now this receiver is connected to my home network. It's connected to my Wi-Fi router and it's got an IP address in the same subnet as my computer. And that IP address in this case is 192.168.1.106. So when I click on that address, that should bring up the configurator option on the receiver directly. If you wanna click on the name, you can try that. And in this case, it worked. So the reason I think that it worked is because my computer was forced to switch from the hotspot on the receiver back to my home network. And I think when it does that, it flushes the name cache. I can't stress enough how important it is to keep the configurator open while you're doing this because it'll help you see what's going on. It'll help you understand if the receiver is showing up, if it's appearing on your network, or if your computer actually made a connection to it. So whether you're in hotspot mode or if your receiver has the SSID and password for your network, either way, you're gonna see an IP address pop up in this box and that'll give you an idea of what's going on and give you the ability to connect your receiver directly. These same techniques work for the transmitter. In my case, my transmitter has my home network information. So I'm simply gonna go into the transmitter and click on Wi-Fi connectivity and I'm gonna enable Wi-Fi. And when I do that, the transmitter is going to connect to my home network and we'll see an IP address pop up at the configurator. So I'm going to switch over to the workspace where you can see the configurator and I'm going to click enable Wi-Fi. And now when I do that, we should see my transmitter also show up in this list down below. See that new device, ELRS transmitter, and it's got an address of 192.168.1.208. So now both my transmitter and my receiver are both connected to my home network and the receiver is on dot 106. The transmitter is on dot 208. If I click on the IP address, that should take us right into the landing page for the transmitter. And you can see I've got my happy model ES24 TX right there. Let's recap what we've learned. There are two Wi-Fi modes. The first one is hotspot mode. In that mode, your computer connects directly to the receiver or the transmitter. And that device will issue an IP address to your computer and you can connect by clicking in the configurator on the address issued by the receiver or the transmitter. The second mode is your home network mode. In that mode, you've given the receiver or the transmitter your SSID and your password. And in that mode, when you power it on and the device starts blinking or you enable it via Lua, it'll connect to your home network and the home network will issue an IP address. That IP address will pop up in Configurator and you can click on it to get to your device. I hope that takes some of the mystery out of Wi-Fi for Express LRS. If you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.